everyone and welcome to Roads to Forever. I'm Terry, and I'm sure right now you have a lot of time on your hands and so you're probably searching around to find out some really good books to read while you have all of this downtime. And trust me, what I'm going to share today are my top five books for single Christian girls to read in 2020. And I think these five books are amazing. And you don't have to be a single Christian girl to read these books. You could be married, dating, or engaged. All of these five books are really amazing and I love every single one of these books. So let's dive right in and talk about my top five books for single Christian girls in 2020. So the first book on my list is the Life Application Study Bible. And so I have a hard copy of this. For all of the other books, I'm going to say get the audio version, but this one obviously must have a hard copy of. So the Life Application Study Bible is perfect. I mean, what better way to draw closer to God and to get wisdom than to spend time reading his word. And what I love about the Life Application Study Bible is that it has all of these helpful resources, um, you know, and like this little guide on the bottom. So as you're reading the word, you can start to think about how does this apply to your life? And so if you are looking to delve deeper into the Bible and to just get a better understanding of God's word and to just grow in your walk with him, then I 100% suggest the Life Application Study Bible. So that's my first book that you have to read in 2024, all of my Christian girls watching this video. The second book on my list, which I've definitely talked about in other videos before, is Redeem in Love by Francine Rivers. Guys, I am telling you, this book is so amazing. I know it's a fiction book, but what it does is this, this really powerful retelling of the biblical story of Hosea and Gomer. And what this book does is remind us of just how God's love is unconditional and redempting and that no matter what you're going through, how difficult life may seem or all these trials you're facing, you serve a God who loves you so much and he'll never abandon you. So this book is such a good book. I promise you, you won't be able to put it down. Um, I have the audiobook and I just stayed up like all night listening to this book. As you're listening to this book, you're going to have these different emotions that are, you're going to cry throughout the book. Maybe, well, I did anyway. I don't know, but maybe you're going to cry throughout the book. You're going to smile. It's just such a good book. So I really love um, Redeem and Love by Francine Rivers and the person who read who reads the audiobook does such a good job with it that I'm telling you it's just such a good read so add this to your list of um, top five books for you to read in 2020. Third book on my list is Boundaries by um, Cloud and Townsend and you know, if you're someone who, like me, maybe you're in relationships and you felt like you gave, gave, and gave, or you just dealt with things and held on too long when you shouldn't have, then this book is a really good book to read um, because it really teaches you, and it's like a guide, to setting boundaries not only with yourself but also with your friends, your loved ones, and even your work. So I think this book is really crucial for you to read, um, especially if you're in a relationship and there are some things that keep coming up and you're just wondering like, well, am I doing the right thing? Or, you know, you've always been that person who um, seeks to please others, then this book, Boundaries, is a really good book to add to your list for 2020. So before I jump into book number four, as you can see, the lighting is changing because I'm recording in the living room and the sun has a mind of its own today. So um, just bear with me as we keep moving through this video. So this next book, um, whereas four out of five of the books on this top five list um, are Christian based or has something to do with the Bible or religion or whatever you want to call it, this book has nothing to do with that at all. But I think this book is going to be really helpful for you in general. So this is one of my all time favorite books. That I think all people like I think everyone should read this book, not just Christian girl, not sing men, women, young adults, everyone should read this book. And it's number four is Atomic Habits by James Clear. This book is so good. It's unlike any other self-improvement book that you've ever read. And trust me, I read a lot of those books. I actually really like that genre of um, reading uh, books to read. And so 
James Clear did an amazing job with talking about how you set up systems that are going to help you to be successful. And once you learn how to do that, you know, it's about how do you improve and get better every single day. And this is something that's like a lifelong journey. So this book is one that you're definitely going to have to read twice. The first time, just listen through, listen, sit down and listen and just take in everything that he has to say. And then the second time, take notes and pay attention to the little details. So if you're someone who has had something that you've always wanted to do, but you've kept putting it off over and over again, whether it's starting like a journal in practice and you've put it off or you wanted to read, you know, every day, but you've put it off. This book really teaches you how to be successful by putting a system in place. So that's why it's on my top five books for single Christian girls to read in 2020, because this book is just amazing. Trust me, you won't want to put this one down either. And it's easy to read. You can actually probably read this from cover to cover in one day. So um, add this to your list of uh, top five books to read um, in 2020. The next book on our list, book number five, is Fervent by Priscilla Shire. And I've mentioned Fervent before in two of our other videos. I think I talked about it in our Christian Books and Prayer Resources or our Christian Devotional Books to Grow Your Faith video, um, which you can check out later if you're interested. But I'm bringing up Fervent by Priscilla Shire again because it is just such an amazing book. It's so powerful and it's all about the power of prayer. And if there's ever a time we need to pray, it's now more than ever. And so she goes through these 10 different strategies that the enemy uses to try to distract us from praying these powerful prayers. And I really, really think this book is going to be so life changing for you because again, it helps you to learn how to really pray and to delve into just, you know, getting in front of your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and just praying to him, um, you know, realizing that the enemy wants to try and defeat you. But you have to remember that you already have the victory because your Savior um, won it all on the cross for you. And this book is just such a good reminder of how important prayer is. So make sure that you're adding this to your list. Now, I've gone through all five books. Let me know in the comments down below which of these books you've read or which of these books that I've mentioned you haven't read that you're most interested in checking out. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about these five books. And um, I just wanna thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, please share with your friends, um, subscribe and give it a thumbs up for more awesome content just like this. Before I leave you, I just want to remind you you're only one prayer away. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.